What's up, Doc? Uh, HBO Max, what's up? Uh, this is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Elmer Fudd, because I, I never, I didn't think we'd be talking about Elmer frickin' Fudd. I... I have work. no words. Uh, Elmer Fudd. Uh, now they're they're doing the, the new Looney Tunes on HBO Max, right? I haven't watched them yet, but I actually was looking forward. Are they to out them. already? Uh, I think I think some of them are on. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't pay attention. But Elmer Fudd's no longer going to carry a gun. That was literally his personality. Well, that's not. He it was wa- a hunter. Yes. Yes, that was his personality. He was, he was a bald guy with a gun that wanted to shoot Bugs Bunny. Here's the thing: if you can't keep a character, a character, you shouldn't reboot the character, and that's. Uh, Come on, HBO Max, you were doing so well. Yeah, I know. We we've actually been like defending HBO Max. We're like, hey guys. So what's his personality now? I don't. Well, apparently this. He changed uh, people to sickle. Wait, 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 wait. So he still kills rabbits. He the, just uses. This is a somehow less sickle, humane. A scythe I think. or whatever instead of a, a, a gun. He's he's the Grim Reaper. But that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. But that literally was his personality was he wanted to shoot Bugs Bunny. So let's, let's, uh, yeah, this is coming from uh, Mike Sington, who is, works with uh, NBC Universal. I'm kind of almost wishing there was a camera on for this because you should guys see my face. I'm just like, what the hell? Complete confusion. I'm just like, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Warner Brothers and Looney Tunes uh, strips Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam of rifles in response to U.S. gun violence. Uh, we'll use a scythe instead to chase bugs. But bugs. it's still violent. Actually, I, I would argue that's more violent. I mean, that was like that'd be like giving him a machete, and we had machete violence. Right? Before. Yeah, there's been like, machete attacks all over the place. Why would you do that? I don't even. Okay, just take a weapons away completely. I you're don't just, get. You're just basically. It's like saying I'm no longer doing math. Now I'm doing cocaine. So it's better now. You know. That's Pretty like much. What they're saying. If you have a problem with the weapons and the violence, giving him a different effing weapon doesn't fix the situation. All right. So this is coming from the Hill. It's actually made the political website. God, I can't even. Um. Now it's made the Hill before it made. I looked at Cartoon Brew hasn't covered it. I'm really surprised they haven't touched it. Uh, there's no Elmer Fudd story on. Maybe there's like I can't, I can't even with this. I, I don't know. Elmer Fudd will not have a gun in the Looney Tunes reboot. Uh, in a new series based on Looney Tunes, the classic character of Elmer Fudd will no longer carry a gun. The new series Looney Tunes cartoons, which premiered last week on the streaming service HBO Max, which I haven't even watched it yet, I should, will feature the cartoons' uh, characteristic violence, dynamite, booby traps, and iconic anvils and booty traps. Booty, booty traps, <laughs> yeah. booty traps. Uh, Goonies. It's the anniversary of Goonies Day, by the way. Yes, so. uh, that is. What's a what's a booty trap? I don't I don't want to know. Uh, the iconic anvils and bank safes dropped onto the characters. The Times reported. However, uh, Peter Browngart, the series executive producer and showrunner, told the outlet, "We're not doing guns." So you're gonna give people a bunch of alternative ways to kill each other, but as long as you're not using guns. Yeah, you know, a number two pencil can can hurt people too. Uh, Magic b- trick. Oh, God. <laughs> Ta-da! It's gone. Uh, but we can do cartoony violence. TNT, the Acme stuff, all that was kind of grandfathered in. Uh, Elmer Fudd is regularly foiled, trying to hunt Bugs Bunny on the show. Because he's a hunter. Because he's a hunter. That literally is his personality. In the new series, the character will carry a scythe. Because that makes so much more sense. This looks absolutely I'm ridiculous. Of, when I'm thinking of, I mean... I, I could see a boomerang or a, 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 a slingshot, something like that. But that, I mean, that's not what I'm thinking of. It, it would make more sense for him just to walk up to Bugs Bunny and slap the shit out of him. Right. Would to chase Box him around. Gloves. Chase, chase him around like the Grim Reaper. Now, is it the reason they chose this really stupid weapon? Is it because they already had the guns drawn in and they got this thing afterwards and they needed to keep something long to fit in what he was carrying? Like he was gonna, he was gonna hit him over the head with the, the butt end of the rifle, or, or like this would look. This, this could even yeah. have been a gun shape. Was it, it like originally we did have the guns in there, but then we decided last minute not to have the guns in there, so we just drew. What, what could you put in there? That a ball bat, everything? maybe. Yeah, this this makes the most sense. This is the, like the the most ridiculous weapon to give Elmer freaking fud. Right, because don't you know all the hunters and the rednecks in the world are out there with you know. Well, I guess I figure they're like sickles in their you know in their in their barns because they're all. Like sling blade or something. <laughs> you know, so. I just I don't know. Is he like the emissary of death? I don't understand why. I, again, I, we'll, we'll talk about. Why is Bugs wearing gloves? Bugs has his yellow gloves back. Those were his original. 
his original gloves. Um, but they literally could have given him anything, anything, anything in the whole world. And it would have looked less ridiculous than Elmer Fudd with a, a sickle. It does look pretty, pretty dumb. Oh, come on, HBO. You're doing so well. You're doing so, so well. Comics artist Johnny Ryan, who worked on the show, noted to the Times that he believes we're going to go through this wave of anti-bullying. Everybody needs to be friends. Everybody needs to get along. It doesn't work that way. Sorry. I hate to break it to you. That's not how the world That's works. That's not how it works. You literally have a character that was designed to hunt and kill rabbits. Bugs Bunny is a rabbit. He was basically there to be the, the foil to Bunny, Bugs Bunny. So just get, don't bring Elmer Fudd back or put him in a different role, but having him chase Bugs Bunny with the damn sickle looks stupid. Oh, Marvin the Martian screwed. Oh yeah, he's got laser guns. That's right. Um, so what's he gonna be carrying? <laughs> Frisbee. I don't know. Well, Looney Tunes is pretty much the antithesis of that. He says two characters in conflict sometimes getting pretty violent. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the reboot will not be the first in the entertainment world to eliminate guns no. from production. They tried that with ET, and then they had to, to put them back in. Well, you had to, you drew out, you took the guns out of comics, the Mickey comics. I'm gonna talk about that. Yeah, they're they're talking about Hamilton. I'm gonna talk about Mickey Mouse. So, uh, for those of you who have watched the channel for a while, uh, you will know that uh, we worked on Disney comics for quite some time, and one of my last Disney comics gigs, it was years ago, it was for uh, IDW, but they had a lot of uh, Mickey comics from the 1950s that had Mickey uh, brandishing a firearm. And, uh, you know, of course, these comics were from the 1950s. Uh, the bad guy had a gun pointed at, at Mickey. Mickey had a gun pointed at the bad guy. Well, it's current year. We're not allowed to do that. We can't have good guy Mickey with a gun. So I had to redraw his arms in a variety of different poses to hide the gun or hide his hands in ridiculous ways, like he was pointing to the sky. Look, it's a UFO. It's a UFO. He had he had his hands behind his back. I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> so it looked like he was having a conversation. Instead of waving, they were waving the guns at each other. Instead of doing that, it looked like he was pointing awkwardly all over the damn place while <laughs> having a conversation with an armed but bad the, guy. The, but, the, but the armed the, the bad guy could keep the gun? Yes. That doesn't even make sense. Because it's Mickey Mouse. Because, I mean, let's be honest here. If someone's waving their hands wildly like that and someone else has a gun, they'd probably just shoot him like Harrison Ford and, and, and <laughs> Indiana Jones. Like, like, I don't Ford. have time for this. Boom. You know? But they've been doing that for years. They went back, I know, at, uh, at Gemstone. They were uh, drawing they cigarettes did, yeah. and cigars out. Oh, yeah. I remember that. And they had one that was ridiculous. It was supposed to be like the exploding cigar, and they had to make it like it was a, a party uh, noisemaker or some garbage like that. Um, we did the, uh, the Don Rosa collection and they had a problem with the ray gun. Uh, Uncle Scrooge had a ray gun, so they had to make the ray gun look like a Buzz Lightyear oh, that's toy gun. that's when you had gun. to redraw stuff? Was that that Yeah, one? I was yeah. redrawing stuff. I was recoloring stuff. I mean, they go to great lengths to try to hide, uh, the gun. So, I mean, definitely the days of, uh, kids playing, uh, cowboy. <laughs> oh, they were long, kids, they were long kids over. That got in trouble, like kindergartners, because they used finger guns at school. They got suspended from school because they they used finger guns because you know they didn't know they were kindergartners. I mean, I understand it if you're like a 16 year old doing that, and making gestures, you're gonna kill somebody. But when you're a kindergartner, just like you're playing cops and robbers, um, they're like, what do I do? <laughs> you know. So, but when I was a kid, kids were bringing Megatron to school. You know, he turned into a realistic looking uh, mm -hmm. handgun. I'm surprised they were allowed to. Our school, I don't think we were allowed to do that. Yeah, but they, they were bringing Megatron in because I remember uh, I never had Megatron. I always wanted Megatron, but they don't they don't make him a gun. They never even brought the Masterpiece Megatron out over here that turned into a gun because they're afraid of people thinking it was a real gun or some, some stuff like that. But this is, you know, I'm just trying to think, like, couldn't you come up with a better way to put Elmer Fudd in it without making it look ridiculous. Yeah, there. I mean, I'm sorry. It does look really stupid. There's a million other things you could have him holding. Um, it just doesn't look right. I'm he, sorry. He could have a dead rabbit, and he could be uh, beating Bugs Bunny with the corpse of one of his friends. Wait. Okay. Well, where's the next thing? If a reboot, and they're making new ones, why couldn't they have just written him differently? I don't understand because they they've had Elmer Fudd in other roles and other things. Like right. They did the um the sitcom Looney Tunes thing. Uh, I want to say it was probably about 
10 years ago on Cartoon Network, and it was kind of like Seinfeld with yeah. the Looney Tunes, and they always put those characters in different roles. Right. They could have done something to change it. They could have still kept him the hunter, but maybe now he's hunting with a camera or something. I don't know. There could have been other things they could have done. They're like, we don't want that violence on violence, but then they're, they're still uh, you're still letting all this other violence happen. It just It's stupid. It's just at that point, it's like it's not even worth putting the character in the show, not in the same role they were in before. Um, you know, but so it's okay to levitate a rock and drop it on someone, but you can't yeah. point a gun. Yeah. Cause. I, okay. Cause you know, that's just dumb. I'm sorry, but it's dumb. Cause you can't really, you know, kill people with rocks. Yeah, you can. I know you can. Yeah, I'm you just, can. I'm just saying that's, I, I don't know. I, I think it's just, I don't understand. 840 How comments. How many times has uh, Wiley Coyote been killed by a falling rock? Let's be honest here. That is true. Um, is this a joke? No. What are you going to do next? Take away Bugs Bunny's gloves? No. Uh, Force Wiley Coyote <laughs> to see a psychiatrist. Forbid Sylvester, Sil Sylvester, I'm going to say Sylvester Stallone. Forbid Sylvester from speaking at all because he has a speech impediment. Uh, Yosemite Sam is wiped out. No, he's actually in it. He's actually in it. Um... So, yeah, I mean, this is just a weird, a weird decision. Think yeah, about Tasmanian Devil. He's nothing but angst and, and aggression. <laughs> I, I got nothing. Now he's just a happy devil, and that's why he spins in circles, because he's happy and, and, and wants to give out hugs. Um, was that a glovist remark? Uh, wokeness over common sense every time. Uh, gun violence in America has turned any humor regarding guns awkward. That's why the person who makes decisions... That's what they're probably thinking. Well, yeah, that might be you know, a corporate it, mandate, too. It could be. And it's like, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not taking sides on, on, on guns one way or the other because I'm not going to go there. But it just seems like there's so many other things they could have done. I'm not even be, beyond the gun. That, that what they chose was dumb. Yeah. I mean, there could have been a hundred other options that would have made more sense. Or they could just, how about if you're, these are new episodes, why don't you just rewrite the episode or make it a little bit different so that there wasn't a gun necessary? You know, or a weapon necessary. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I, I don't even, I don't even get the thinking. Uh, I, I, just yeah. You're doing so well, HBO. HBO, you're doing so well. What the hell? What the hell? This is just not. It doesn't even make sense. But we shouldn't expect. It doesn't even make it sense. to. No. Like I said, I've I've been a participant in the uh, the gun washing of Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know how these companies think. Now, Disney, I guess I can understand it more because this is Disney and they're always doing stupid shit like this. You but know? it wasn't like, um, it, like they said with Looney Tunes, it was like, you know, more like the violence was more their, their shtick. Yeah, and with the thing with Warner is they actually released a lot of the old uh, cartoons that a lot of people would find to be very problematic current year with a disclaimer. Um, that's something Disney just tries to pretend they never made them. Mm -hmm. um, Which I think is better to just, you know, admit it. We fess did it. up. You did it. Yeah. You did it. It was like 70, 80 years ago. Nobody, you know, expected it to be 2020 and 1940, you know, but um, yeah, there we go. So I'm more fun. No guns. <laughs> Sickle. I don't think you're going to see that. I'm kids. saving rabbits. I don't think you're going to see I'm saving rabbits. I don't even think you're going to see Elmer Fudd on like lunch boxes or anything with a freaking. What's you got to chase him with a sharpened carrot. A sharpened carrot. A rake. Can he just hit him with a rake? There you go. Rake would have been okay. That would make more sense than, than that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. We're going to wrap this one up. Yeah, okay. Please subscribe. Please, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.